So in this exercise, we will learn how to place a concrete wall. I have the 3D view and the 2D plan view open. Before placing the wall, I will reference the, pri reference the primary frame model to use it as a reference for modeling. Open the uh, Project Explorer tab, or if you don't have it, uh, you can access it from the File drop-down menu as well. Then from the Project Directory, select Finish Primary Framing Model and select the Design Model file, then drag it and drop it in the view. Now we can see the primary structural model. However, we don't need to have the full model visible. So from the Floor Selector tab, select the Ground Floor Top of Footing and then select the Isolate View icon, icon and set the View Range to minus 1 and 20. Yeah, minus 1 for the Active Floor and set, set it 20 for the next floor. So as you see now, when you click on the Isolate View icon, as you see, uh, the view has been filtered to show only the, the, uh, to show only the element based on the view range. Now we can start placing the walls from the Structure Design tab, select Place Wall Tool from Row G. Select the default Exterior Wall Catalog item, which will automatically define the family and parts for the wall. You can now place linear or curved wall. Uh, you can place linear or curved walls by selecting the right option from here. We will go for a linear form. Also, as per most of the element placing tools, you can define the side of the element which will be used to invert the element. In our case, we will go for center line. The most common way of inserting a wall in most of the software is by fixed height, in which you define a height and select the first and last point in the model. However, for this exercise, we will use the Connect Shape tool, which I believe is an easier way for placing walls. After make sure the, the side and bit offset are zero, go to the Properties tab and scroll down to the Wall Dimensions field uh, and define the thickness as uh, 0 0.6. You can type it if it's not in the drop-down menu. And we will keep the height as the default, 14. And then we'll go back to the uh, placement, placement tab. Now, now we'll start uh, placing the wall. Uh, to place the wall, you can always follow the instruction here in the, for the tips uh, in the bottom here. To place the wall, you need to select the surrounding element. In our case, the first column and the second column, and then click on the screen, and then right-click uh, on the screen as well. And then you can start selecting the first point and the second point. Uh, or I think I'm misplacing the wall. I will, I will redo it. So I'll select the first, select the first column, and then the second column, and then left click on the screen, and then right click, and then on the plan view, I'll select the first point and the second point, and then right click on the screen. So now the wall has been placed as shown. Let me rotate the view. Now, the beauty of using the connect uh, method for placing the wall is the wall will be fitted automatically to the selected surrounding element. So as you see, for example, we have a circular column here. The edge of the wall um, is chamfered. So if I hide the reference model, as you see, you have a curved edge of the wall. So you don't have a clash between the wall and the column. It's all based on the, on the elements which you'll select.